Welcome to the Coastal Kitchen. I'm Karen Mashures, and today I have a few of my favorite things. The first thing that we're going to make are macaroons, which everybody loves cookies, so you'll love these. The second thing we're going to make is eggplant rollatini. We're also going to have with that spaghetti aglio which is garlic and oil sauce over the top. And to finish it off, we're going to have a great salad with a wonderful homemade salad dressing. Okay, let's get started. The first thing that you need is a pound of coconut. And I've got my coconut in my big bowl. The second thing you need is a can of sweetened condensed milk. Now, this is the sweet kind, the thick kind. And we're going to pour about three quarters of this into the bowl and just give it a good stir. Want to make sure that all the coconut gets wet. And the reason I hold back that quarter is because sometimes with humidity it can get too wet and sometimes your coconut is so moist that you don't need quite as much. Okay, I'm going to put some more in here because I think we can use it. Now you're just going to want to make sure that this sits while we go to the next step, which is really, really easy. Okay, this looks like it is nice and moist and I've got just a little bit left in the can, so I'm going to set this over here. The next step is three egg whites. And we are going to whip them till they are just nice and foamy all the way through. So I'm gonna put a pinch of salt and start making these things foam up. That didn't take long, did it? Okay, now a macaroon really, everybody thinks about French macaroons, um, there are macaroon wafers and macaroon cookies, and these are cookies. So we're just going to put all of this egg white in. This is a great cookie for somebody who has gluten issues because there's no flour. And we're just going to incorporate all of these egg whites into the coconut. A good mix here. All right, this looks good. Now you can see it's a sticky mix. It's a little bit wet, but not too wet. Okay, let's put this over here and I'm gonna get a ice cream scoop and my pans. And I have taken a cookie sheet and put parchment paper right in the center. And I'm going to get a scoop and you can use one ounce or two ounce scoop. Um, depends on the size of cookies you want. I'm using, a, this is about a one and a half inch scoop. So just scoop them out and put them about an inch to an inch and a half apart depending on the size of the cookie. Because they're not going to spread out too much. All right, let's get that last one in there. Now, this recipe is a, a great recipe, and you can see that it's so easy. If you have little bits that are coming off the edges, just mound it up a little bit so the edges are pretty clean. It'll spread out just a touch, but want to keep all those in. Okay, we've got all those set now. These are gonna go into a 350 oven between 15 and 20 minutes, depending on the size. You might uh, have to um, check your oven before you um, take them out because they should be nice and golden brown on the top, a little bit of toasted coconut, and brown around the edges on the bottom. Okay, so I'm gonna sit this over here right now and finish those up in a minute but I'm gonna start my chocolate because what I like to do is I like to take chocolate and dip the bottom of the macaroon in melted chocolate. And I have a great thing on my microwave that melts chocolate for me, 
without any problems. If you do it on the stove, just make sure that you don't let any water get on your chocolate if you do it in a double boiler. Okay, all I'm gonna do is just chop this up rough pieces and stick it in my little bowl. And I'm gonna let the computer do the work for me because all I have to do is stick it in and I am going to do a melt and chocolate. And I've got four ounces of chocolate, between three and a half and four. So I'm just gonna put in four, start this, and about halfway through, I'm going to give it a little stir so it can start the melting process really well. Okay, let's check this chocolate. All right, it's good. Getting ready to get into the final stage of melting. It's really starting now, so let's put it back in for it to finish. And what I'm gonna do is after uh, the macaroons come out of the oven, they're gonna cool for about 15 minutes and then we're gonna dip the bottoms in and I'll reheat the chocolate just a little bit so um, it'll be warm enough to adhere to the bottom of the macaroons. Okay, I'm gonna clean everything up, get this one in the oven and I'll be back in just a minute after a word from our sponsors. This is what security video used to look like. And this is HD video monitoring from ATMC Security. Now it's easier than ever to keep tabs on the kids, see when deliveries arrive, and make sure your home is secure. Check in from any device, anywhere. ATMC Security offers remote access, real-time alerts, video monitoring, and recording, and more. Combine smart home solutions with 24-7 emergency monitoring for one great low price. ATMC Security. Safeguard your home. Now mom, plus Shalot Electric, plus Maytag, equals one legendary apple pie. It begins with the finest ingredients kept Maytag fresh. Then, Maytag's precise baking means the flakiest, tastiest crust ever. Finally, her ultra-quiet Maytag dishwasher makes cleanup ultra-easy. Mom, apple pie, and Maytag, dependably yours at Shalot Electric Stores. Welcome back. I have got my chocolate melted and we are ready to go. The macaroons, take a look. Golden brown, a little bit of the toasted coconut on top. And you can see the bottoms are that golden brown too. Now, all you have to do is parchment paper. Just drop it in. Just cover the bottom. Give it a little turn, and you've got chocolate on the bottom, and in 15 minutes, that'll be set. So I'm gonna finish these, and we're gonna go straight to our eggplant rollatini. Eggplant rollatini, one of my favorite things. Now, all you have to do is get a nice size eggplant, cut the ends off, and then we're gonna cut off some sides. I want to cut off just a little here and just a little here. And it's easier to do that in the beginning. So, all right, a half an inch slice is about what we want. And we're just gonna slice this eggplant and then we'll be ready to start our process. I've got some already in process um, because we don't want to wait that extra 20 minutes to make things happen, but we're going to take this eggplant. Eggplant's a little bit of a weepy vegetable and it has a little bit of bitterness to it. So what we're going to do is grab my pan and I have got this already fixed with paper towels. And I'm gonna take my eggplant, some salt, and just layer it equally.
and give it a nice sprinkle over each piece. Then flip it over and do the same thing. What we're going to do is let this sit for 15 minutes and we're going to turn it in the meantime. We want to get some of that moisture out. Okay, so you can see I already have one waiting for me and I've got another one over here. So I'm feeding a lot of hungry people today. So what I'm going to do next is turn my water on and I'm going to rinse the eggplant real fast. And now it has gotten a little bit um, more pliable than it was when it was originally cut. So we're going to do this and pat it dry. Just make sure we got the other side. And I'm going to put these four pieces on the grill, but I want to spray it first with some spray. You can um, use olive oil with a brush if you want. We're going to take these and put them right on the griddle. And we're going to let them cook for about four minutes on each side. I'm going to go ahead and prepare the rest of this real fast while those are cooking. At ATMC, we know that fast, reliable internet is essential to connecting our local community to a better future. That's why we're investing millions to bring faster internet to members living in Brunswick County's most rural areas. We call this Project 2019 because in the next 24 months, over 4,000 of our members will have access to internet speeds up to 50 times faster than today. Because when it comes to doing right by our members, it's all about you. This is TV. This is TV Set Free. ATMC To Go sets you free to watch what you want, where you want. Catch your favorite networks, including live TV, ready to watch on any web-connected device for no extra charge. That's TV Set Free. Enjoy the extra value ATMC To Go adds to your cable package. Visit ATMC.com and sign up today. Okay, take a look at these grill marks. This is the way it's supposed to look. And I'm going to put it back over here on another pan. No paper towels this time. Just lay that over and I'm going to put my next group on. All right, while that's cooking, let's take a quick few minutes to make our cheese sauce. All right, cup and a half of um, ricotta, and I'm using part skim ricotta, and I'm going to put in about three quarters of a cup of shredded mozzarella, one egg yolk, And I've got Parmesan cheese, about three tablespoons, eighth of a teaspoon of pepper, eighth of a teaspoon of salt, and an eighth of a teaspoon of Italian herbs. And I'm just going to mix this up. This is the filling that goes inside the eggplant. So we're going to get this all mixed up and have it ready to fold and roll. Okay, this is all mixed up and we're getting ready to make this thing happen. Let me grab my dish. I've got a nine by 13 pan and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm gonna spray it with a little spray here. And get that ready. I'm going to take about three quarters of a cup 
of marinara sauce. And you can make your own. I make mine when I'm in uh, the kitchen all day. But you can use your favorite marinara. Do it the way you like it. And just coat this over the bottom. This is the base for our eggplant. All right, so this is ready. Now, what we're going to do is take the eggplant that we've already grilled, and I'm gonna take a piece and show you how it's done. All right, we're gonna start with the fat end towards me, and I'm gonna get some roasted red pepper, and I'm gonna put a couple of them on this. And now I'm gonna take, oh, about, let's get one of these. A good heaping teaspoon of cheese. Just sort of smear it up three quarters of the way. And what we're gonna do now is start rolling. We're gonna just make it into a nice little roll and put it in our pan. And I'm gonna keep right on going here. Last one. And I did eight rollatini because I'm feeding four people and I wanted to have two per person. So you just make it the way that you need it. All right, let me quick rinse my hands off. And we're gonna finish this up. We're gonna put some marinara on top. Just cover the rest of your rollatinis. Use all your sauce. Okay, now it's time for some more mozzarella. And we're gonna use another three quarters of a cup sprinkled all over the top and if you're like me I had a little bit left over so I can't leave any any cheese off of anything here so we'll put that last little bit of cheese on and I'm also going to sprinkle with some Parmesan just grated Parmesan cheese and this is going to go into a 350 oven for about 25 minutes and then it'll be ready to come out. All right, let's get this in. We're gonna have a short break while I clean up a little bit and we'll be back to do our Italian dressing and our spaghetti aglio Our mom plus Shalot Electric plus Maytag equals one legendary apple pie. It begins with the finest ingredients kept Maytag fresh. Then, Maytag's precise baking means the flakiest, tastiest crust ever. Finally, her ultra-quiet Maytag dishwasher makes cleanup ultra easy. Mom, apple pie, and Maytag, dependably yours at Shalot Electric Stores. At ATMC, it's all about you. So when you build your own bundle at ATMC.com, you get exactly the services you want. Like blazing fast internet with speeds up to one gigabit per second. More than 200 channels of digital cable. Unlimited nationwide calling. Plus the safest home on the block. At ATMC, you get faster speeds, more choices, and bigger savings. Because it's all about you. Build your bundle today with ATMC. We are ATMC TV Channel 3 and HD Channel 910, your community channel. Italian dressing, the easiest thing to make. All you have to do is put your ingredients together. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to make mine in the mason jar. Always do it. You can put it in the blender. You can put it in um, a mixer. But um, I like to use my mason jars, and I'm going to put a fourth of a cup of white wine vinegar. And it's just white wine vinegar. And we're going to put a half a cup of 
EVOO, that lovely olive oil, pinch of red pepper flakes, little bit of salt, two uh, teaspoons of Italian seasoning, and I'm going to put in three tablespoons of grated Parmesan cheese. And last but not least, garlic. And it says a clove of garlic. If you've got a great big clove, you can half it, but just squeeze it out. And pop it in. Now, it's time to shake, 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 shake. And this is a, a creamy um, Italian, and we're going to let it sit for about 15 minutes before I put it on my salad. So there you go. How easy is that? And just remember, you can taste it. If you want to put a little bit of uh, more garlic, you can put a little bit of salt if you'd like. But I always put some cracked pepper and just a cu good couple of turns. and. Make it the way that you like it. Okay, we're gonna go on to our spaghetti. Let me rinse my fingers off just a second. I've got my water boiling, and I have got a pound of angel hair pasta. And all I'm going to do is, let's make sure that it's, it's rolling boil. I'm gonna put a good amount of salt in because I know that pasta can't be salted after it's cooked. So that's in now and we're going to put the pasta in and we're going to let it cook for six minutes. Six minutes will bring it to the al dente stage and then we're going to take it out and put it in our pan. Okay, let's get this going. I need some olive oil and I'm just going to put it in my pan to cook my garlic. Let's turn that on. Okay, let's get it low. Um, these are big cloves of garlic. So, as I said earlier, if it's a big clove, you, you do what you want to do with it because it's um, up to you how much garlic you like. Good smash. And all I'm going to do is just mince it up. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Just give it a good, good chopping all the way around. All right. Now, as soon as my pan starts to get a little bit warm, we're going to go ahead and put that garlic in. I don't want it to get brown. I just want it to soften and get a little bit golden. Okay, this is looking good. Now, this is just something I do. It's not in the recipe. I put about a tablespoon of butter in with the oil. I just think it gives it a little bit richer flavor. Okay, here we go. Garlic in. And let's get it all. Woo! It's talking to me. This is a really quick dish if you want to cook something at night that's fast and you can do it without too many ingredients. Okay, this is good. Let's turn that off for the moment. I've got it off the heat and my garlic is a golden brown color. Okay, pasta's almost ready. Let me get my sink together. And I'm gonna take about two tablespoons worth of parsley. And we're gonna chop that up too.
I'm going to use this as a garnish and for flavor in the spaghetti. Okay, this is done. Six minutes and I am ready to put it in the strainer. But I'm going to get me a little bowl and I'm going to reserve some pasta water. Okay, all in, all done. Let's get that off. And I'm gonna take this over here. Okay, now let's take another good look at this. I'm gonna put some pepper and a little bit of salt. I'm gonna throw in part of my parsley. And now it's time for the pasta. It's still steaming. Right in the pan. And I'm gonna use my trusty tongs to get this all coated. It's almost time for our egg eggplant to come out of the oven. Let's take a quick look at it. Ooh, I think it's time. Take a look at that. Okay, let's put this right here. I'm gonna finish up real fast. We're gonna have a word from our sponsor and I'll have it all ready when you come back. Getting an alert the kids made it home safely or need to let guests in when you're not there. That's ATMC security. And then there's the time when having professionally monitored smart home security really matters. ATMC security offers remote access, real-time alerts, video monitoring, and interactive security, keeping you connected to your home from wherever you are. Start with 24-7 emergency monitoring for burglary, smoke, fire, and carbon monoxide for as low as $17.95 per month. ATMC security, safeguard your home. Do you have Wi-Fi dead zones in your home? If you have a fast internet package, your wireless router is most likely the bottleneck because it can't handle all the new devices in your home. We now have a solution to enhance your internet experience. ATMC Premium Wi-Fi improves performance and coverage issues in any size home. For only $7.95 a month, you'll get Wi-Fi service plus management and maintenance you can rely on. So transform your Wi-Fi dead zones into total home Wi-Fi coverage with ATMC Premium Wi-Fi. This has been a really fun day for me because these are some of my favorite things. I absolutely love the eggplant rollatini. I love pasta, aglio salad rounds it out, and the macaroons, one of my favorite desserts. I hope you get as much fun out of this meal as I have. Try it, the recipes. You can go to Facebook page, look for the Coastal Kitchen, and they're all right there. We'll see you again next time on the Coastal Kitchen. We are ATMC TV Channel 3 and HD Channel 910, your community channel. Our mom, plus Shalot Electric, plus Maytag, equals one legendary apple pie. It begins with the finest ingredients kept Maytag fresh. Then, Maytag's precise baking means the flakiest, tastiest crust ever. Finally, her ultra-quiet Maytag dishwasher makes cleanup ultra easy. Mom, apple pie, and Maytag, dependably yours at Shalot Electric Stores.